Hello, hi everyone. This is Moin here from Bangalore Hamster Breeders. As I said you in my last video that I would be introducing with my more exotic pet. Today I will be explaining you about my sugar gliders. I have in my collection I have two kinds of sugar gliders with me. One is leucistic sugar glider which is white color. And the other one we will be having as like normal grey color sugar glider. So I will show you how they look like. See guys, as you are able to see here, this is my leucistic pair, which I have got recently. So hardly, it's like two months they have moved in. The main thing is like they are completely on a fruit and cerelex diet. So wheat and apple is the cerelex which they are usually having. So they are into wheat and apple cerelex diet. Along with that, we give them some fruits. So basically, as their name itself suggests, sugar gliders. They eat a fruits a lot, so basically we give them watermelons, apple, and vegetable. So rarely they eat, and uh, some people give them boiled chicken as well. One, but we are once once we are giving them boiled chicken and all for the protein content. Okay, what happens is they start stinking very badly. So in order to avoid it, what we do is we give them uh, meal worms as well as super worms. So that they can meet their uh, protein, whatever they require, and they will breed well. And this is just a semi-adult pair which I've got for my home. And whatever exotic uh, sugar gliders which I'm showing you, this is my personal collection. Once the pups are out, I'll they'll be available for sale. These are not for sale. So when talking about market value, this leucistic sugar glider pair will cost you around somewhere thirty to thirty-five thousand rupees in the market. So. Next, I'll be introducing you to my grey grey gliders, which is like almost 1.5 years old. Stay tuned. Hi guys, so as you can see, my sugar glider is having some pups in her pouch. Okay, I think it is one pup which has got into her pouch now. So you can see the females will be carrying their pups in the pouch, and you can see this male which is running towards Cerlex, which is having Cerlex for now. So this big guy, which you can see here. So the main thing how you can recognize them is like uh, males will be having a ball, testicle ball, and females will be having the pouch. So here you can see this is my breeding pair, wherein you can see these two females, two females, and they they started breeding once they were like one year old, and this is my male. and you can see on the top of his head there is a small ball like structure which only male has so from far itself you can easily recognize them and you can see they love eating that uh, cerelex okay so along with that what i do is, is with the cerelex i usually mix some honey so that it they'll be eating it very they like it very a lot so this is my trio pair and when talking about designing their enclosure and all make sure that you are buying some good quality cage which doesn't rust because what happens is once your cage gets rusted even they, it will be affected for them and second thing is like you can keep them in two ways first thing is like you can see that leucistic pair right wherein i had kept them in a breeding box okay that is also ideal but i use basically i give them a pouch wherein in that pouch they'll be relaxing coolly full day they'll be inside that pouch and they are like they wake up only at night so the pup which you have seen in our pouch it will get ready after 30 to 40 days okay only then they will be able to ready to go okay now i'll fix their pouch they'll start running into their pouch now so this pair uh, when talking about it prices uh, when we got this babies so that was costing me somewhere around 30k i paid for this three pieces okay now when talking about their market value if you are buying some two babies one male and a female it will cost you around 15 to 20000 rupees a pair depends on the protein content given to them and some people tell that they are noisy but i don't agree on this because till now only in the night time sometimes they make a small sound or else they are not going to make any kind of a sound there 
they are very social and you should make sure that you are not introducing any new sugar glider in their enclosure okay and whenever this pouch will be filled with babies and all you need not dif- uh, you need not disturb them so let me put the pouch now and i'll show you now you can see my gliders they have started gliding and going back to their pouches and the main best tip is that you should not miss them feeding uh, mealworms and superworms if you want to breed them and the second main uh, and the secret thing is like even though if they are tamed if you want to breed them please don't disturb them don't go to their enclosure start touching them and all okay they'll only come whatever you feed they'll eat then later you can leave them back and i am not wearing the gloves very 